Hey viewers, welcome back to We Code No Code. If you've ever wanted to build your own website or app using AI and make it live for the world to see, but stuck with too much of complexities and hurdle, this video is for you. In today's video, we're going to build a beautiful modern landing page using Google Stitch and Google AI Studio, and then deploy it live for free on Vercel. By the end of this video, you'll have your own fully working website or app with your code saved on GitHub and the ability to deploy and update your site instantly using Vercel. And the best part, you don't need to write or understand a single line of code. But before we start, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video for more tutorials on AI, no code, and app building. All right, let's dive in. All the tool links you can find in the description of this video. We will go to Google Stitch, and here I gave a prompt to create a prototype for a landing page for a vintage car rental service with a large hero image. And within moments, Google Stitch starts thinking and preparing the mock-up for us. Stitch is one of Google's most powerful AI tools for UI design and prototyping. I've already made a detailed video on Google Stitch. You can refer to it if you want to learn more. In that video, I explain how Stitch works in detail. So if you're completely new to Google Stitch, or if you want a deeper understanding of its features, I highly recommend checking out that video. And in just a few minutes, Google Stitch has generated our prototype based on the prompt we provided. The prototype looks beautiful and professional. It already includes a strong hero section, clean typography, and well-structured sections that fit perfectly for a vintage car rental landing page. This gives us a solid foundation to move forward without starting from scratch or designing everything manually. Now we will export this prototype using Google AI Studio. Here, we just give a simple instruction, make this real, and then click on Build with AI Studio. Google AI Studio now takes this UI prototype, and once you click Build, it starts converting it into actual working code behind the scenes. You don't have to worry about frameworks, files, or setup. Everything is handled automatically. It generates the project structure, components, and logic needed to make the design work in a real browser. This means what you designed visually is now being transformed into a real website that you can run, edit, and deploy. All of this happens with just a single click, saving you hours of manual work. While Google AI Studio is building our web app, I just want to clarify that you can directly build your website or application using Google AI Studio by simply providing prompts. It is not compulsory to use Google Stitch in your workflow. Using Google Stitch helps you prototype your ideas faster and gives you the flexibility to regenerate multiple prototype variations, make edits, and choose theme colors easily. In this video, we're not going to focus much on design or variations. Our main goal here is to show you the complete end-to-end -end workflow, from idea to a working website or app, and finally, deploying it live on the internet by using Vercel. So we'll keep things simple, practical, and focused on building and deploying. In just a few minutes, Google AI Studio has built our website based on the prototype, we'll quickly view it in full screen. As you can see, the layout, sections, and overall design match the prototype we created earlier. Now the next step is to deploy our project to GitHub. Just click Save to GitHub. If you don't have GitHub account, you will have to sign up first and complete profile setup. This will quickly push all the updated project files to a GitHub repository, so we can keep everything version controlled, organized, and ready for future updates or deployment. Enter the repository name and description, choose whether we want the repo to be public or private, and then create the GitHub repository. 
Google AI Studio will automatically package all the project files and push them into the repo for us, so we don't have to deal with manual uploads or Git commands. Once the repository is created, you can open it directly on GitHub to review the full project structure, make future edits, or collaborate with others if needed. Now we will head over to GitHub and refresh the page, and you will immediately see that a brand new repository named Classic Drives has been created with all the project files neatly organized. Everything from the front-end code to configuration files is now properly stored inside this repo, and it looks clean, structured, and professional. You'll also notice that GitHub provides an application URL right inside the repository interface. If you selected the repository to be private, then only you will be able to open the app from that link. But if you selected public, then anyone on the internet can access the application through the same URL. This makes the project easy to share, test, or showcase. Now the last step. We will head back to Google AI Studio. Here we will say, I want to deploy this app to Vercel. To make this work, Google AI Studio automatically prepares a standard project setup. Behind the scenes, it adds all the required configuration files and also updates the index.html file with the correct entry point. Everything needed for deployment is now properly getting configured for us in backend by Google AI Studio. In a few moments, Google AI Studio has generated the updated files for us. It also explains the deployment steps clearly. Anytime you get stuck in between, the best way is to check with Google AI Studio directly in the chat. Now we will quickly push these updated files to GitHub. Just click Save to GitHub. This will update our existing repository with all the new configuration and deployment-related files. Once the push is complete, our project is fully ready to be imported into Vercel for live deployment. We can quickly verify this on GitHub as well by checking the newly updated configuration files. Now we will head over to Vercel and log in using our GitHub account. If you're logging in for the first time, you'll need to sign in and complete the profile setup. During this process, Vercel will ask you to authorize access to your GitHub repositories. I've already logged in using my GitHub account. Here, you can see the option to import your project from a Git repository. Just click Import. After clicking Import, based on your authorization of repositories, you will be able to see your repositories. I have selected all, which is why I'm able to see all my Git repositories here. Now, let's import the Classic Drives repository. It opens a new project under Vercel. Here, you can see the option to select the framework. I will select Vite in this case, as we already saw earlier when Google AI Studio generated the updated file package for us. If you're not sure about the framework, you can always go back to Google AI Studio and ask in the chat. Now you can see the option to set up environment variables and provide your API key and values if your app uses any. This is useful when your application depends on external services or APIs. For this project, we don't need to add any environment variables, so we can skip this step for now. If your app requires them, you can always come back later and add or update them. Just click Deploy. Vercel will immediately start deploying your application. It will take a few seconds to minutes to deploy everything, depending on the project size and configuration. You can watch the deployment logs in real time to see each step as Vercel sets up your app. Once the deployment is complete, your website will be live and accessible via a public URL. And congratulations, deployment completed successfully, and we have just deployed our website on a Versal subdomain. Just click the link and you'll see that it is live and fully working. You can navigate through all the pages, check the design, and test the functionality. Everything is running exactly as we built it. Now our vintage car rental website is ready to share with the world, and you can continue updating it anytime directly from GitHub and redeploy instantly. Now we will go to the home and open the Vercel dashboard. 
The most important thing is that you can also deploy your website or app to a custom domain. Vercel makes this really easy and gives you that flexibility. It's pretty simple to set up, and your site can be live on your own domain in just a few steps. Simply, you will have to just click on Domains, and there you will see two options. You just need to either buy a new domain or connect an existing one, and Vercel handles all the configuration automatically. This way, you're not limited to the default Vercel subdomain. Your app can have a fully branded presence on the web. In just a few steps, we went from an idea to a fully working website and deployed it live on the internet without writing a single line of code. The entire workflow shows how powerful AI and no-code tools have become, making it possible for anyone to build and launch real applications faster than ever. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to We Code No Code and hit the bell icon so you never miss upcoming tutorials. I've got a lot more exciting AI and no code projects, tools, and demos coming your way. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep building, keep experimenting, and I'll see you in the next one.